screen switch. Start recording. Honey, where's my GoPro? Stop recording. Shut down. Oh, let's see. What? This is Osmo Action, DJI's first action camera. It has one over 2.3 inch CMOS sensor that can shoot 12 megapixel photos. The f2.8 50mm lens has 145 degrees field of view. It can shoot 4K 30 frames per second HDR, 4K 60 frames per second video with DJI's electronic image stabilization called Rocksteady. Compared to GoPro Hero 7 Black, it is $50 cheaper, can go one meter deeper, has 80 milliampere hour bigger battery, supports linear mode up to 4K or 120 frames per second, the video bitrate is 100 megabit bits per second, the back screen is 0.25 inches bigger and the 1.4 inch front screen is actually a screen. And it can do this. It. I hope you enjoyed it. And here it is! DJI Osmo Action comes in this nicely designed box. Inside the box we're greeted with Osmo Action in its GoPro compatible mount, then curved adhesive mount with quick release base, USB-C cable, locking screw, flat adhesive mount, battery in its battery case that has a slot for memory card, some papers and that's it. Interestingly, the box cannot be closed properly once you open it, which I am totally fine with. <laughs> Where's my tape? Much better. The camera frame unlocks without sacrificing some of your fingers to action guards and the camera itself looks pretty good. Behind this door we're greeted with USB-C port and memory card slot. Unlike Hero 7 there is no HDMI out but just like Hero cameras the door is removable. There is no battery door on Osmo Action so you have to make sure to place the battery properly. There are two latches that you have to make sure that are latched. The 640 by 360, 325 pixel per inch, 2.25 inch back screen has 750 nits brightness. Also the touch response of the screen is as it should be. The normal color, the Cinelike and HDR gives you all the flexibility you need to get the job done. But keep in mind that HDR is not B2020, it is Rec 709. When we look at the design you see some really thoughtful stuff in here as well. For example, this little piece here, when you turn on the camera, it carries the light that is coming from here. And one of the microphones is here. So when you close this down, even if you try, you cannot put your finger over it, just like the mic in here. 
And on the battery case, they added this nice little tray where you can put in your extra memory card. This handle is easier to tighten and loosen. And this mount is very easy to mount and take it off. The menus are very simple. When you swipe from top to bottom, you go into this menu and here you can save your current configuration. So you have like a memory recall place for your most used stuff. And then next to that we have brightness, which changes the brightness of the front and the back screen, or you can lock the screen. These are your settings. It has a feature called snapshot, which turns the camera on when you just hold down the record button. And I set this to latest settings. Let's say I'm trying to get a slow motion and my camera is set to slow motion and I'm waiting and nothing is happening. So I turn it off to save battery and then I see the skateboarder coming. I can just hit record and it turns on and starts recording immediately. We have quick switch and in the quick switch you can select what you want to see in the quick switch and how it works is you just hit this button and you can switch between the menus you defined. Face oriented exposure is very nice. It adjusts exposure oriented to your face. In other words, <laughs> auto rotation, spot metering, voice control. For the voice commands, you don't need to start your sentence with the product's name. You can just say the command and it will do it. Take a photo. Start recording. Stop recording. Screen switch. Now it's switched to back screen and of course the last one shut down. Very nice, right? But be careful while listening to Richard Cheese. He may just switch your screen. Richard Cheese to be the band. Seriously, we do weddings. You say me no. And this changes how you see the image on front screen. The full version or do you want it zoomed in? When you swipe from right, you go into your camera settings. When you swipe from left, you go into your images and you can tap on this to see your stuff and you can tap on all you can see videos photos and more and i want to show you something else as well let's go to this video as we're on the video screen when you slide from the right side you change the volume and when you slide from the left side you change the brightness of the screen and when you're in the main screen when you double tap on it you switch the screen and you can Nothing is happening here. You cannot control anything. You cannot control this screen from this back screen, but you can double tap on it and it will switch back. Or you can hold down this button to do the same thing as well. And to control this with your phone, you have to use DJI Mimo app, just like Osmo Pocket. Let's go into our app. One thing it doesn't have, let's go in 1080p, like 30 frames per second, something normal. It doesn't have digital zoom like GoPro. GoPro? Let's talk about that. When it comes to drones, when I say GoPro Karma, laugh all you want. But when it comes to action cameras, GoPro sets the standards, especially with GoPro Hero 6 for me. When it first came out, the image quality of GoPro Hero 6 wasn't that good. It was actually worse than GoPro Hero 5, according to my tests. And then just by software updates, they fixed GoPro Hero 6 and I respect that too much and then there's this GoPro Hero 7 Black the best action camera out right now end of story and then there is this guy Sony FDR and then there's this guy Sony FDR X3000 which has optical image stabilization yes it's a little old but optic image stabilization is unbeatable so if this guy is planning to go against these monsters it better have a plan because up there yeah DJI may be the king but down here Nick Woodman is the action hero see what I did there hero 7 action 
camera action hero. Let's begin with the image quality comparison. In 4K 30 frames per second and with manual white balance, apart from the field of view, all cameras perform nicely. When we turn on the diamond inspector mode and zoom into 300%, Sony FDR seems a little soft, Hero 7 Black seems sharp but noisy, and Osmo Action sits right between them. When we turn on the stabilization, Sony FDR crops the image 5% if you like some electronic image stabilization on top of the optical image stabilization. Hero 7 Black crops 10% and Osmo Action crops 18% up to 4K 30, 22% at 4K 60 frames per second, which is a lot, but that's how much a state it needs to create that rock steady stabilization. During my tests, there were a lot of situations where I found Osmo Action's footage too contrasty compared to GoPro Hero 7 Black. Okay, see you. This is the very low light test. And now a little less low light, please. This is a little less low light situation. Now this is the normal studio lighting. And now let's test the indoor microphone. Now what you're hearing is Sony FDR X3000. And now what you're hearing is GoPro Hero 7. And now what you're hearing is Osmo Action. And now what you're hearing is Sony FDR X3000 again. And now what you're hearing is GoPro Hero 7 Black. And now what you're hearing is Osmo Action. And this is what a guitar sounds like. Of course, this is indoors. Let's step outside and see what happens when they try to fight the wind noise. This is what it sounds like on GoPro Hero 7. This is what it sounds like on DJI Osmo Action. And this is what it sounds like on Sony FDR X3000. R. When it comes to 4K 60 frames per second continuous shooting with electronic image stabilization turned on, GoPro Hero 7 was able to record for 42 minutes and 30 seconds before it overheated and shut down. Meanwhile, Osmo Action continued shooting for 1 hour, 7 minutes and 4 seconds. I really liked how Osmo Action began turning off LCD screen faster and turned off Wi-Fi to be able to keep on recording until the end of its battery. Also during continuous recording, GoPro creates a new file every 8 minutes and 52 seconds Osmo Action creates a new file every 5 minutes and 26 seconds. See, but the thing is, DJI may be new to the action camera game, but they are not really far away from it. Their drones, gimbals have extremely good cameras. Plus, DJI has a Hulk. A Hulk that goes by the name Hasselblad. And that is why this thing it's pretty good. So DJI is not a drone maker anymore. They make other stuff too. And I think this is just the tip of the iceberg. But there are some things that I don't like. Let's talk about them. While you're recording a video and you want to switch screen, what it does is it stops the video recording and then switches the screen and then starts recording again and that causes a four second gap. I wish there was an option with less crop. Let's just call it steady instead of rock steady and it just crops 10% so when I wanted to get a wider angle with a little bit of stabilization for situations like this. Casual walking. That would have been nice. Also I definitely would have enjoyed having sharpness, contrast and saturation settings that I can change myself. Also, just like GoPro without the frame, it doesn't have a tripod mount. So what that means is when you want to mount this somewhere, 
it's gonna be this much higher every single time which i know there's no space but i wish it had a tripod mount underneath osmo action itself and these last two are a little bit my spoiled requests but it really feels like the front screen can be touched but it's not a touch screen the front screen is not a touch screen i just wish it was and a part of me really wishes that it had a bigger sensor that's all i'm done complaining but before coming to a conclusion about osmo action i went to my quiet place santa monica pier to find someone and get their opinion about this matter i'm here on the ferris wheel and i really don't think there's anyone here that i can ask about Os hey ah! <laughs> So long. It's been so long. You, we, uh, whoa, no way, you have one too. I, yeah, I thought I was the only one once again. I thought I was too, surprised. Yeah, but this time you have one and Jenna isn't here. She's not. Unlike that Sony instance. She doesn't have yeah. one. Where are you, Jenna? Huh? Yeah. Uninvited. <laughs> <laughs> After playing some games and getting an incredible motion sickness from the gondola ride. I did not like it so much. <laughs> I can't even tell you. <laughs> and of course, the traditional flame throwing, it was time to talk about Osmo action. So, Justine, what do you think about Osmo action? I love it so much. I've been playing with it for the past week. And one of my favorite things is honestly, it just it just works. The interface is so intuitive, especially compared to GoPro. I feel like sometimes you cannot find the things that you're looking for. Everything here is so easy to navigate. I love the rock steady. Like it is so incredibly smooth that it's really shocking. It is shocking. I can shake it like this. Yeah. And nothing is happening. It's really it's insane. incredible. I also love that you're able to change the screen from the front to the back. I didn't want to say it because I didn't want it to actually do the thing. But I think that's really cool because it is great for when you're doing these types of videos to be able to see if you're in frame. I was actually on a roller coaster and I was able to see if I was in frame and if it was a good shot. But I love it. It's so cool. It's really changing the game. Thanks so much for being in my video. Thanks so much for being in my video too. Please go and subscribe to Justin's channel. Follow her on Twitter, Instagram, and... Is that it? I think that's all. TikTok? I guess Are we on TikTok? I just joined. You joined? I was so bored of social media that I joined TikTok. Like, is that crazy or what? I, I, I have TikTok app. Mm -hmm. I'm not, I don't have an account, but there are some cool stuff that yeah. people are doing dancing with the phones. There's also a lot of things that are not good. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. And, this is so much fun. Hope to see you soon. Bye. I feel like DJI entered the action camera market with an extremely strong product and an even stronger statement. The second screen, battery life, heat management, stabilization, image and sound quality is extremely impressive. Hero 7 and FDR X3000 are definitely not alone in this anymore. And the price is absolutely remarkable. Just like Osmo Pocket, I feel like the second I can get a microphone adapter and some ND filters for this guy, it will be in my bag. All the time. Remember when Hero 6 was $500? And then, thanks, thankfully, they brought down the price with Hero 7 to $400. And with Osmo, where is it? Oh, I think I left it at home. With Osmo Action, the price is $349. And I find that very competitive and very aggressive. And it's really nice because in the end, the winner is the consumer. It is us. Oh, of course. <gasps> we are together. Ah, uh, no, no, we're not. What are you doing? Are you us now? Once upon a time, there was a girl. Okay, I'm gonna stop you right there. I really cannot take this acting right now. I'm looking for my Osmo action. Oh. You're looking for this? Here. 
enjoy it until we come up with Hero 8. Oh, I can't.